Now, the simplest way to make your character walk across the screen with full control, like what you are watching right now, is doing it frame by frame. And you can do this with um, smart bones, but it will not look as perfect as this, but it will still look good. If you check my other videos, you will see the samples that I have given there for walk cycle. But for this tutorial, I want you to understand how to do frame by frame with Moho Studio. And moving forward, the best way to do this from what you have been watching, um, before the first thing you need to do is you could either do it on the same layer or you go you create a different uh, new layer for in this case i'll create a, a new project rather and since we are we have already created the contact pose the passing pose the down pose and the up pose all we have to do is just go into our folder here and just copy out the um and just copy out the poses and just paste them accordingly but the first thing you need to do is you copy the contact pose you can see it's already highlighted but in case yours is not highlighted just click and highlight then you copy then you go to your new um, folder you add a new frame by frame layer you could call it whatever you want for this tutorial i'll be leaving it as it is then from frame zero you add a frame then you hit ctrl v to paste it in it is always good to have a ground to know where your character is going to be laying on so here i will just hold shift and drag and create a line here I need to turn this on sorry ctrl z so i'll hold shift and create a line here then i'll go to my fill tool and fill in the line and if I go to frame one, you could see where my character is. So I'll just adjust the line to where the leg is for this. And you can do it vice versa. So that we know that our character is walking straight on this um, road or line. So since we have pasted it in here, I will move um, a frame further. Let's say frame six or for just for this tutorial sake. It, it all depends on how fast you want your character to walk and how slow you want your character to walk. So let me just... Um, go to frame 12 on this one so that you understand it better and also remember to turn on your onion skin because this will be your guide this will be your guide to help you um, paste your vectors properly to create a better work cycle all right so i'll go to frame 12 right now i'll add a new frame then i'll control v the same contact um pose then i'll just shift it a bit because i want my character not to fly across the screen so if i wanted to fly across the screen i could shift it holding shift make sure you are holding shift i could bring it maybe up onto this point so then i'll because we are going to fill in the other part so because i want my character to walk in properly so i'll be doing it something like this just at the end of his work then i'll move to frame 24 then i'll add a new frame again Control v to paste the same contact then at this point i'll put this in then i'll move to frame 36 i'll add another one then ctrl v then i'll drag then i'll put this in just now he's walking through our screen then at frame 48 if you notice i'm just giving two frames in between to do this then i'll hit a new frame ctrl v then i'll drag so this is the way you would do it until you fill in the whole uh, he walks through the whole screen all right then so you can see we have him walking through the screen like this now that is what is first then the next thing for us to do now is add our passing face so for the passing face now we'll go to um this one here this is our passing face where the leg is um up like this we'll control c to copy that then we'll come to this point at the middle here six we add keyframe then control v to add our passing phase so you can see the passing phase should be on where this leg is so that from here he moves to this point then at frame 18 we'll add the same thing then we'll hit a new layer at frame 18 control v to put our passing phase then we'll drag that to this point where the leg is then at, con at frame 30 i said control initially forgive me at frame 30 
that was at frame 18 and frame 30 now we'll add a new frame also Control V to add our passing phase then at frame 42 we'll do the same thing all through so as we've done this now if you play this you see him almost walking through <laughs> your screen isn't it so the next thing for you to do now is now add your down phase and your up phase and just taking note the down phase come immediate in between the contact phase and the passing phase so your down phase will be here and your um up phase will be up pose rather i keep saying phase will be here i hope you understand so at this point we're going to add our down phase so you go back to where you have created um everything you, you now copy your down phase and you can see your down phase starts in between there so you have your down phase you copy it like this ctrl c then at this point in the middle here you add another frame okay then you paste in your down phase so you can see this is where your down phase should start from all right so you go to your contact phase again at between 12 and 18 you add a new frame you ctrl v you paste your down phase hold shift and you drag it in between then you move forward again up phase then you go in between 24 and 30 all right you hit your control there control v you add your down phase again all right then you jump in between again wherever you have your contact phase in between that's where you're adding your uh, down phase you take note of that then control v to add your down phase again you come in you put it there this is how you do it anyway you do it all through till he walks through the screen it could be a little bit daunting but this is what um, animation entails and he walks out of the screen isn't it if you like you can add up um, to this point but since it's out of the screen we'll just let that be then the next thing for you to do finally is to add your up phase where he goes up like this so if you notice the up leg starts from behind where the passing phase uh, or the passing pose uh, re um, relaxes from so we'll just copy this since it's highlighted we'll control c then we'll go to where we are creating our work so doing this doing it like this it means you can create your work cycle differently than you know you now paste it in so that you don't have a clash of your work in between so right now we will now work on our passing phase this is our passing phase um, frames so we'll come here we'll add a new frame then ctrl v to add it there so this is perfect all right then we come to this point again we we'll add a new frame um, ctrl v so you hold shift and you drag it to this point then this point again add a new frame ctrl v you click and you drag it to this point and we have here then we add a new frame then we click hold shift and you drag it to this point then we have here also add a new frame ctrl v you click you add it to this point then at this point again you add a new frame ctrl v you drag and you add to this point then at this point the same thing ctrl v you click you drag you add to this point and the same thing for the last point you click you drag and you add done so at frame 96 the character walks all through the screen so if we play this this is what we have you see our character walking perfectly through the screen and you can see how his feet is landing on the ground properly you know very beautifully and this is an amazing walk cycle i hope you understand how I you to create work cycles now in my next video i'll be creating a forward motion uh, a forward work cycle and more great stuff do subscribe to the channel if you love what i am doing and if you want to support me check the links below get the courses and support me in whatever way you can i have a gum road link down there also you can support my work through that and let me know if you have any questions and any tutorial you want me to help you create check out the next video and see you in the next video ciao ciao stay safe and stay blessed